Our man, Brett Adcock, he's got the FO2, Figaro 2, great video doing he's washing at his house. Figaro have obviously had so much investment, but haven't really released any videos that have social proof of what they're actually doing there. What we do know they're doing is they've built their own models. They've built their own hardware. They are going full stack Elon style and doing it out of the US. My takeaway of this is in the last two weeks, I've seen so many releases of people going for the point solution robot. Like here's a lamp that does your, you know, a lamp that turns into folding your quilts. Okay. Here's a claw that will fold your towels. I think we've built this whole world suited to humans. We've built our homes for humans. We've built all the chores and everything around humans. I think that the general purpose humanoid is going to outweigh like all the little trinkets. The one thing that I would question is if you're looking at fully automating your home, can the humanoid do enough of that at all times? And do you want that? So for example, if every single task that needs to be happening in the home, if you're trying to automate it at the same time, how many humanoids would you need to be doing that? Would you need multiple going? And, and do people want that? Do they want another four humanoids in their home? Or are they happy to have one who is like your helper, but you've got these little trinkets that are also connected into the ecosystem that are a little bit less intrusive. I think in general, I agree that the humanoid has the best ROI, but I see a world where you have like an ecosystem of the humanoid is, is the commander is doing the main chores and it's integrated into these little gadgets that are a bit more seamless when it comes to the design of the home.